students in this video i am going to discuss about the second part of sargasm cross section of stem in sargasm it shows three regions the meristodium is the outermost layer and it consists of a number of closely arranged cells which are in a single layer these are richly pigmented and hence they are assimilatory in function they are meristematic and divide anticlinally the cortex is a middle zone consisting of larger cells which store food materials the medulla is a central region consisting of narrow elongated cells which are useful in conduction cross section of leaf in sargassum it shows the following regions the meristodium is the outermost layer cortex is a middle one the medulla is a central region it also shows cryptostomata transverse section of air bladder in sargassum air bladder also shows meristodium and cortex but the medulla is replaced by air cavity next is the reproduction sargassum reproduces vegetatively by fragmentation example sargassum natans and sargassum hystrix sexual reproduction the sex organs are ogonia and andridia the ogonia occur in female conceptacle and the andridia in the male ones the male and female conceptacles may occur on the same receptacle that is monoecious or may occur on different sargassum that is dioecious the conceptacles are abortive and they are known as cryptoblasts these may occur in between fertile conceptacles in the receptacle and mostly found on leaves development of conceptacle a conceptacle develops in the receptacle it develops from a single superficial cell the initial of the conceptacle lies at the surface but as the adjacent cells repeatedly divide and grow a flask shaped cavity is formed at the base of which lies the initial of the conceptacle the initial divides transversely forming a lower base cell and upper tongue cell the tongue cell may disappear or develop into a hair the basal cell by a series of vertical divisions forms a row of cells lining the floor of the cavity these cells contain chromatophores it becomes 2 to 3 layered by transverse divisions in which the superficial layer is fertile giving rise to either andridia or ogonia The conceptacle has a small opening called ostiole. Some of the cells near the ostiole may develop into hairs called periphyses. Female conceptacle. Any superficial cell of the fertile layer lining the floor of the conceptacle can give rise to the ogonia. The superficial cell or ogonial mother cell divides into a lower stalk cell and an upper cell that develops into the ogonium. The ogonium increases in size and appears as if it is sessile. The nucleus of the ogonium is diploid. It undergoes meiosis and forms four haploid nuclei which divide again forming eight nuclei. Out of this, one nucleus remains and other seven degenerate. This nucleus along with the ogonial cytoplasm forms the egg. Usually 4 to 10 ogonia develop in the female conceptacle periphyses are formed between the ogonia by some of the superficial cells of the floor of the conceptacle next one is male conceptacle several cells of the fertile layer lining the floor of the conceptacle function as andridial mother cells the andridial mother cell grows into a papilla like outgrowth and it is cut off by a cross wall at the base The upper cell divides into a lower stalk cell and a terminal andridium. The stalk cell may grow into the paraphyses pushing the andridium to a side. Thus the paraphyses of male conceptacle are different in origin from those of the female conceptacle. Here you can find the TS of male and female conceptacle of sargassum. It will helpful for you for the examination. in each andridium the diploid nucleus divides meiotically followed by mitotic divisions forming 64 haploid nuclei 
the protoplast also divides into equal number of bits so that 64 uninucleate protoplasts are formed which metamorphose into biflagellated androzoids. The spermatozoids appear shaped having two lateral flagella in which the posterior one is longer. It has a prominent nucleus, eye spot and a vestigial chromatophore. Fertilization. The ogonial wall is three-layered consisting of exochite, mesochite and endochite. The exochite imbibes water and ruptures. The mesochite becomes gelatinous forming a kind of stalk. The ogonia are slowly pushed up through the osteol by the swelling up of a gelatinous material. They get attached outside the conceptacle. The anthridial wall ruptures liberating the spermatozoids. They cluster around the ogonium, but only one of them fertilizes the egg forming the zygote. Germination of zygote. The gelatinous wall of the zygote affixes it to the substratum. After differentiation of the rhizoid towards the base, the zygote divides further forming the rest of the thallus. Thus, the zygote germinates and produces a diploid plant. Life cycle. Sargasm is diploid. Meiosis takes place in the ugonium during the formation of the egg and in the andridium during the formation of spermatozoids. Fertilization is outside the conceptacle since both ogonia and spermatozoids come out through the osteol. Sexual reproduction is ogamous and one of the spermatozoids fertilizes the egg. The resulting diploid zygote gives rise to a diploid plant by repeated mitotic divisions. Thus, the life cycle is diploid type and gametes alone represent the haploid stage.